Hi everyone, it's Ashley. This is my 20 week update. Um, today I had an ultrasound. Um, I am exactly 20 weeks today. I had my 20 week ultrasound, uh, the anatomy scan. Uh, we still uh, are in the mind frame of not finding out, so we don't know still. <laughs> um, the ultrasound was good today. Um, we saw bones, like the bones here, the bones in the thighs, the legs, its fingers. Uh, we saw its skull. We got some nice profile pictures. Um, we had, we watched it have the most adorable yawn in the whole world. Uh, I wish you could videotape uh, our our office doesn't let. Uh, you record any of the ultrasounds so uh, but it was so flipping cute <laughs> I was like oh it's so hard in there <laughs> um, let's see I also had a midwife appointment um, we talked about um, she said I'm doing a great job with my weight I think I've gained between five and seven pounds I didn't weigh myself today <clears throat> um, and I don't know what I know what they weighed me at at their office, but I don't know what the original weight they had is because my scale is different from theirs. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what else did she say? Uh, we talked about um, we are going on a trip to the UK. I will be 32 weeks to 34 weeks when we go. Um, and as of now, it's fine. Uh, the airline should let me fly. <laughs> Uh, and they're saying, you know, we're not going to tell you we can't, but you can't. But I just have to be careful with getting up and stretching and moving my legs and walking. Um, we're actually flying... No, Lily. Sorry, my cat. Um, please stop. This is like the, sec the second time I've had to film this because she was like all over the camera. Um... What'd she say? I have to get up and walk around the plane. We're actually flying, uh, our first flight is from JFK to Dublin. Um, and I think it's about, it's a little less than usual. It's less time than when we fly to London. Um, so that's good. It'll be a, little, a bit less time. And then our second flight over, um, we're actually going to a place called the Isle of Man, where my husband is from. Um, that's like, oh, it's such a quick flight. It's like 30 minutes, um, 40 at most. It's like up and down. Um, so I think the flight from JFK to Dublin is about five hours, I want to say. Um, really? I just said no. Come on. Thank you. Uh, so thankfully it won't be too too bad and I'm pretty sure that we're flying we're getting there like I'm trying to think we're leaving here at like 7 but there would be I can't remember anyway it'll be at night nightish time um, so hopefully people will, will kind of be hunkered down and they won't mind me um, kind of standing in the back um, pacing or we usually try and get the last row. When I was pregnant with my son, we went over. <clears throat> but I was about this time. I was about 20 weeks. And um, we got the very last row. So I was next to the bathroom. Um, and you're not disturbing as many people if you're walking kind of like where the stewardesses walk. Um, and then we always buy insurance uh, whenever we go since we I was pregnant with my son. We always get insurance just in case um, and like I, I was talking to the doctor and I've said to other people you know we're going to the UK <laughs> we're not going to a third world country at 32 weeks where hospitalization is kind of iffy or you know uh, medical help is not readily available at a moment's notice so I feel like you know if anything happens it'll be okay um, going to this place, you know, going to this type of, of area. Um, we're going for a hospital tour. Uh, let's see, that's 
I just called the babysitter, so I, it's 15 days away, so it's like two weeks away. Um, I'll be, I can't remember, I'll be 21 or, no, I'll be 22 or almost 23 weeks. Um, excuse me. It's every first Thursday of the month. So it's called Meet the Midwives, uh, and you take a hospital tour. I'd really like to know if they have a, uh, a siblings class. With my son, we took a bunch of classes, a breastfeeding class, um, like a birthing class. I'm not sure if my husband took CPR or not, but I definitely did through my work uh, because I worked at a, a child care center. Um, but I'd like to know if they have a, you know, sibling class to get them kind of ready. He really wants it to be a boy. <laughs> And we have a name picked out for a girl. We don't have a name picked out for a boy. Um, but Finn's, Finn has picked out a name for the boy, in case it's a boy. Um, to him, it will be Knickknack. <laughs> Knickknack Grills. That's, that will be our <laughs> little boy's name. Anyway, um, uh, part of the reason we're not finding out is I don't want to have to deal with Finn knowing it's a girl or, or what, or a boy for the next few months, um, dealing with his disappointment and griping about it. Um, actually yesterday I just, um, on Friday I registered him for our, like, school education, you know, <laughs> education. Uh, we're actually hoping to get him into a local charter school rather than the elementary school, um, the public elementary school that's, like, walking distance from our house um so we won't know until mid-april if he gets in um they do a lottery so uh if not he'll be going to the one that's right down the street here um but the point of that was saying um finn will have one month about um being home with the baby and then he'll start school and i feel well, it obviously wasn't our plan to have our children this far apart. Um, it's going to be good, I think. It's going to be just what I need. I I don't know how I would have dealt with the stress of two quite, not quite young, but younger children at home at the same time. Um, with I know people do it all the time. But me, myself, I know my stress um, level... Um, and what I can handle. And I think this is just how it needed to be. Uh, my sister and I are actually five and a half years apart. And that's how old our, uh, our son will be. Well, five and a half years older than this baby. It's weird. It's also weird that my sister and I married. My sister's now divorced. But we, we both married men that were 12 years older than us. <laughs> uh, it's just a coincidence. Thought you might like to know that fun fact. Uh, I'm 28 and Dave is about to be 41. So he's 40 now, but he'll be 41 um, in May. Um, so that's it. I think cravings, symptoms. Symptoms haven't been too much. I'm still having trouble using the bathroom regularly. It's not painful. It's just quite annoying. Um... The gagging is getting better, <clears throat> other than when I uh, brush my teeth. But things like smells and stuff like that, they're not as bothersome anymore. <clears throat> I thankfully haven't gotten a cold in a while. Um, but I do find that I have sore throats uh, randomly. Uh, sneezing like crazy. I sneeze probably 10 to 15 times a day. So sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, what else? I had one in my head. Oh, yeah, headaches. I had a headache. There was one week I had one. I had a headache almost every day. Um, sorry, there's a really big blue jay. And I want to turn you so you can see it. But I don't know if I can. Let's see. You see it in that tree right there? Oh, no, it flew away. 
awesome. That's gonna make really great video time. <sighs> anyway, uh, I think when I stood up, he got a little scared. Uh, what was I saying? Headaches. Uh, for most of the week, I had a, had a headache almost every day. That went away. Um, and then the past couple days, I've been having headaches again, which is quite annoying. I don't mind taking something for them. It's just annoying to have them, and then it doesn't always work. Um, I, the uh, Tylenol. So, cravings. Um, uh, corn dogs? <laughs> I know that's awful. Um, I bought a massive box of them. I, mean, I say massive. It was like, I want to say 12 of them. And my husband's like, oh, what the hell is that type of thing? And I said, it's not for you. It's for me and Finn. And, um, sorry. Um, and I've been eating them more. <laughs> and Finn. There's some days that nothing stays down, but these corn dogs stay down. Um, and it's not that I'm, th it's from my lap band. It's not from, um, sickness or anything. I think that's about it. Um, I see the blue jay again. Oh, well, now I'm realizing that it, I th we had a, a bird's nest in one of our, um, you have like a, you maybe you saw it. Uh, Christmassy tree out in our front yard and there was we couldn't see it very well because it was like too high up um, but last year there was a bird's nest in there and now I'm realizing it was probably that blue jay I think I knew that <laughs> anyway this is great I will see you in a couple weeks bye